Hey, beloved, good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on what time of day it is you're watching this or where you are and what part of the country or the world you are watching this in. Welcome to the 12-minute message with your friend and brother, Willie Wade, the spiritual architect. We want to thank you for joining us this morning. Amen. God bless. Our 12-minute message this morning comes from Romans, the 15th chapter, and the first two to three verses. Come on, let's get right into it. <clears throat> it is for us who are strong to bear with the susceptibilities of the weaker ones and not please ourselves. Each of us must consider his neighbor's good so that we support one another. Christ did not indulge his own feelings either. Indeed, as scripture says, the insults of those who insult you fall on me. Amen. I want to talk to you this morning about this real, the one and only DIY, do it yourself and self-help book. People spend thousands and thousands, I would dare say millions and millions of dollars on what they call do-it-yourself and self-help books. Here's the caveat. Once you buy the book and you try or attempt to follow the author's instructions, you're not doing it yourself. <laughs> Think about it. Once you buy the book and you've tried to follow the author's instructions, the author is now helping you. There is no such thing as do it yourself. There is no such thing as self-help. We weren't designed that way. We were created to be in community. We were created to bear one another's burdens and infirmities. We were created so that the weaker would be helped and carried by the stronger. You can't do it all by yourself. But only that, you're not supposed to do it all by yourself. We are supposed to come together over our brothers and our sisters and help them bear their infirmities. We're supposed to come together mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, even financially to pool all of our resources together so that the strong help the weak. Actually, that's what the tax system is for. Unfortunately, in our system of taxation and with the current things going on now, the weaker ones carry the burdens of the stronger. This isn't supposed to be. In this day and age of COVID-19, there are a lot of people who need each other's help. And we can't help ourselves. We can't help ourselves pull out of it. We can't pull out of this by ourselves. As they used to talk about the coalition of the willing, George Bush, when he had the, not that I agree with the Iraq <clears throat> invasion, but he had the coalition of the willing because he understood there are some things that you can't do it by yourself and you can't do it for yourself and you just can't help yourself in. It. And so, beloved, I encourage you today to find somebody. I know our theme this week is help to find somebody that you can help and that can help you. You see, the Bible, the word of God is the original do-it-yourself book. It's the original self-help book. It is the one and only self-help book. You need help in love, the Bible can help you. You need direction, the word of God can help you. You need to be encouraged, the word of God can help you. You need energy and strength for the new day, the word of God can help you. But it doesn't, it helps you but you're not helping yourself all by yourself. You are helping yourself when you read the word of God. You are helping yourself when you study the word of God. You are helping yourself when you try as best you can to apply the word of God, but you're not doing it by yourself. Paul says we have this great crowd of witnesses who are there with us, helping us, encouraging us, guiding us, their stories are lifting us up. Their stories are giving us inspiration. Their stories are giving us insight on how to approach God, how to approach problems, and how to deal with other people. And so we are not doing it by ourselves. We're doing it with the whole cloud of witnesses, as well as with the Christian community of faith that you belong to. 
with your church members, with your brothers and sisters, whether it's virtual and you get to inbox people or whether you meet every Sunday morning or was meeting every Sunday morning and you get to sit down and hold hands and pray together and laugh together and cry together and worship together. <laughs> you are doing it to help yourself. The thing is, you're not doing it all by yourself. And that's the difference. You see those self-help books and those do-it-yourself books leave you there all alone. And not only are you doing it and helping yourself, attempting to help yourself, but beloved, you're doing it by yourself. You're doing it, doing it in isolation. You're doing it disconnected and cut off from friends and family members and loved ones and co-workers. You're doing it cut off from the power and the will of God. You're doing it cut off from great resources of other people and other minds and you're doing it cut off from the helping hand and the loving heart and the thoughtful mind of other people. So yes, you're attempting to help yourself. The problem is that you're doing it by yourself. And according to the word of God, man was not meant to be alone. We were not meant to do things by ourselves to help ourselves. We were meant to do things to help ourselves and to help our situation and to help our circumstances along with other people. And so, beloved, I implore you today to pick up the world's first do-it-yourself and only real self-help book so that as you're helping yourself and you're doing things for yourself, you find out that you're not doing it all by yourself. For God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are leading, guiding, and helping you all the way. And so the next time somebody tells you, ah, I read this great self-help book, say, nah, you didn't help yourself. Once the author gave you those words, once you listen to the first word of the author, the author helped you. We, we can't help ourselves by ourselves. We have to be in community. And watch this. 90% of the people who buy self-help books, one self-help book, wind up buying five because if the first self-help book worked you would not have needed the other four but the bible the word of god the very best the very best do it yourself self-help book there is once you get it you don't need another one you don't need to buy five or six different self-help books once you buy this one you might buy different versions but it's the same author. <laughs> it's the same writer. It's the same finisher of our faith. Amen. God bless you. Heaven smile on you. Remember, just because you do it yourself and you are helping yourself doesn't mean you have to do it all by yourself. God bless. Come on, let me pray with you. <clears throat> God eternal and wise, we thank you that we don't have to live this life and go through life all by ourselves. We thank you that we don't have to try and help ourselves. We thank you, Father God, that you help us, that you lead us, that you guide us, that you strengthen us, that you direct us, and that you correct us. We thank you for the community of believers and the great cloud of witnesses that we had to encourage us, to inspire us, to show us the way whose stories hold tidbits on the keys to living this life now. We thank you, Father God, that you are the author and the finisher of our faith and that in this one book, you've given us all that we need to help ourselves, but not leave us by ourselves. For Jesus declares to his disciples, I will not leave you lonely. I will send back to you a comforter and he will guide you to all truths. And so now, Father God, men and women who are trying to raise children by themselves, who are trying to be better people by themselves, who are trying to be better fathers and husbands and wives and children who are being trying to be better children, we ask that you let them know that even though they're trying to do it themselves, they're not by themselves. For you, Master, are right there with them. In the mighty and matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, this is our prayer for you. Amen. And remember, beloved, when you are alone with your thoughts, 
you are not as alone as you thought because God is there. God bless you. Heaven smile on you. Have a great, great, great day. Amen. Amen.